We're here at CES 2016 showing off the Vive Pre, a second generation developer kit for Vive, the virtual reality system by HTC. It's been a huge show for virtual reality in general and a particularly big show for HTC. We have over 20 partners here at CES from a variety of different places across the industry, from GPU partners to people in retail and business. We're showcasing multiple experiences of how Vive is going to make everyday life change uh, across the technology industry. We've uh, designed this experience that lets anyone uh, come in the stage, get captured in 3D with his body, so that he can stage himself into a drawing. And the purpose of all that is to let him express an idea, a dream of a product or a service or something that doesn't exist. At the end of the experience, uh, we create a 360 degree bullet time that shows what you've done in 3D that gets into a platform where, where you can share it on the social networks. So I'm here with the Vertrix. We're showing off our Omni platform. It's basically a motion platform that allows players to walk or run in 360 degree virtual environments. Our internal development team has created Omni Arena, which allows players to cooperatively work together and defend the core uh, against the waves of enemies. Uh, using the Vive with the Virtrix Omni allows freedom of motion controls, allowing the users to walk in one direction and aim their weapons in different directions at the same time. So at first when people step into it, it's, it's a whole new immersive experience for them. It was the coolest thing ever. And to that is something that everyone's been kind of wanting, and after you experience it's just something that you want to keep doing. People don't, don't want to get off as soon as they get on. Behind us is a virtual reality experience that we've been working with HTC on, called the Lonely Whale Project. It's a project started by Adrian Grenier and his legacy for good. And the idea is that using virtual reality as a platform, we can talk about some of the social problems facing the world. This virtual reality experience takes a user through the underwater world of today's oceans and talks about how animals are affected by both noise and physical pollution in the sea. It's blowing their mind. Virtual reality is the new frontier for gaming, for experiences, and for telling stories. And so that's what we're using the platform to do today, and we're excited that Alienware has a technology to showcase that. At CES this year, we have Audi working on a virtual showroom that allows users to design their next automobile. We give our customers the possibility to have special experiences not only see all our cars, all of our 54 cars in VR, we also give them an opportunity to show into the cars, under the hood, under the structures or into the structures. Oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> we have Fox here at CES showing off The Martian, their virtual reality take on the recent movie. We also have Elite Dangerous here with us in the ballroom at CES. They've been showing off their game with the cooperation of both SciTech and PlaySeat to really bring that flight experience to life for our guests. So cool. This is really tight. In addition to all the partner activity, we also have our biggest truck tour stop yet. We've expanded the truck tour from its original three bays, which everybody's come to know, to an additional five bays outside the truck with a variety of activities. Uh, that allow people to both view and go hands-on with different types of VR. Whoa! Oh my god! The Envelop virtual environment enables you to use your computer while you're in VR. One of the key problems that we've seen uh, content creators face is that they cannot create virtual reality while they're in virtual reality. With the Vive's front-facing camera, you, we can actually show the user their hands and their mouse and their keyboard while they're working it. Everybody that we've sat down in front of our software uh, seems to have a different use case for it. Some people want to be able to author 3D content inside the environment. Some people want to be able to write a book inside the environment. Uh, really, it's anybody who's using their computer for anything. They can now imagine um, doing the same tasks that they've done before, but now they're, they're being extended into VR with our software. Today we're showing off the GT72S Dominator Pro. We're really trying to show that our notebooks are up to par or sometimes even better than the conventional gaming PCs by showing that they are Vive ready. I think the most people excited about it would be gamers. There's a lot of different types of games out there. Uh, horror is a really big interest where you're walking through the woods and something pops out and you really feel like you're there. Shooters are one, another big one. With MSI's notebooks, it's a great way to bring portability to the VR industry. Uh, with the Vive, you can bring it over to your friend's house. It 
you can travel with a notebook, you can bring VR virtually anywhere. One of the things that we're showing here is the HTC Vive powered by AMD Radeon Graphics. We've been pushing pixels, bigger monitors, higher refresh monitors for a long time, but the next jump, what takes really high amounts of graphics horsepower is virtual reality. And that's sort of where we come in. We, we make the graphics cards that can provide that high-end graphics horsepower experience. So, you know, HTC has this beautiful Vive VR headset, high resolution, looks great, perfect immersion, very fluid, but to get that experience, you, you also need the other half, which is a graphics card. And we make the products that, that will make that happen for you. This category will be for best gaming product. The winner is HTC's Vive Chaperone. So far, we've kicked off 2016 really strong, and we've got nowhere to go but up from here. This show has been largely focused on the hardware itself, and we're really excited to show you more about the content real soon.